This is Rev. Michelle Hopkins. I'm going to show you examples of what happens in the sky when infrasound is used to superheat clouds and dross is left over after the moisture has been gathered and pushed out of the way. If you'll see this picture, this is a sunset in my town where I live and there is superheating going on in the upper stratosphere and here are some uh, clouds that are left. They're dirty, they're nasty, they're low-flying, they're chem dross. That's what I mean when I'm talking about chem dross. It's what's left over after superheating and moisture rising and stolen out of the clouds. Here is an example of the process as it happens, a wonderful example. You can see the chem dross underneath that's already had some of the moisture taking out of it, and they're actually in the process of superheating this cloud. You can see it happening. I stood there and watched it happen as they did it. There is a column of billowing of moisture and cloud, and the vapors rise up, and what is left over underneath, as you can see, is that dirty, nasty chem dross. This video is an example of chem dross gone awry. The metals in this mixture a little too heavy, and rather than having the chem dross only on the bottom, as you can see here, there's also a great deal of heavy-duty chem dross on the top. So steaming the steam out of this cloud was extremely difficult, and it actually was a chem fail. <laughs> this process was a fail because there was too much chem dross. It went to the top rather than going to the bottom. There was a lot of speculation as to whether this was UFO or not, but simply put, it was TTA superheating a cloud, and as you can see, the chem dross, which is already burnt, is on the top. These are other examples of this process. As you can see, as you understand the process, it becomes more and more obvious to you. The superheating on the top and the dross on the bottom. These are all examples of TTA superheated clouds. Here are some examples of infrasound being detected in the cloud disbursements of chemtrail. This is a chemtrail. You can tell the infrasound frequency going through that chemtrail. You can see it very, very easily. It's very detectable. There are three chemtrails seen here. The dispersal patterns are obvious, and you can tell in those chemtrails is infrasound. And here again, infrasound over the mountains. You can tell it's chemtrail because the, the colors are so vibrant because of the silicon fibers, the barium, and other metals in the chemtrail. Now, infrasound can cause many problems in the human body, in animals, and in terra firma. Terra firma is what we're talking about mostly today because I believe we're going to be hearing rumblings and shakings in the earth where I showed you that infrasound is attacking in America. Infrasound can even be used to cause earthquakes, seismic disruptions, volcanic instability. The evil one has a reason the evil one has a purpose. Therefore, with minds that are alert and fully sober, set your hope on the grace to be brought to you when Jesus Christ is revealed at his coming, as 1 Peter 1.13 tells us. Christ alone will I glory, though I could pride myself. In battles we won, for I've been blessed beyond measure, and by His strength alone I overcome. Oh, I could stop and count successes like diamonds in my hand. 
But those trophies could not equal to the grace. This is Reverend Michelle Hopkins. Thank you for watching.